Again, I'm a principal of a middle school in Bethesda Addison. Um, we have very, very spicy children. Um, I think the day Russell came in, um, two weeks after that, one of my students brought a gun, two loaded guns into the building. And was in the New York Post, and we had to, you know, I had to take it away from him. And so, it also was a school that had lots of safety issues. So again, arts was not the main thing I was thinking about when I first took over the school. Arts had just felt left out of my school. So we had one dance teacher and one art teacher. And basically, when it was professional development time, we used to be like, go make yourself busy, go do something. I have to meet with the real teacher. Okay. And in my head, I kind of thought like that. Like, you know what? You're not on the line, front lines with us trying to improve these test scores. You kind of keep the kids busy. But now, they've become a vital member of the staff. They, we have arts committees meetings where basically once a month, every single teacher, I won't say half our staff, becomes part of that meeting where we talk about how we can develop the arts more in our school. And we've now been able to offer visual arts, theater, dance, and vocal. We saw the attendance dramatically increase mm -hmm. from 85.7 to 91.9, wow. making us the top performing middle school in my district. What it's interesting is we've now done three Broadway junior musicals. We've done Thoroughly Modern Millie. We've done Annie. We're doing Fame this year. And we did Once Upon This Island. Now we're the school known in Beth the Saxon as doing musicals because no, no other middle school in our district does middle, um, musicals. With schools like mine, which have, you know, we used to have really serious behavior issues. And once I started letting the arts come in, I started to see the behaviors go like this. It was difficult for me to see was the fact that, as a principal, I had not given my children these opportunities before. And to watch a parent come up to me and say, I never knew he could do that. Mm -hmm. And when I look at this school, and I'm amazed, amazed at what this school, this school looks like, and amazed at what these children get. But my zip code is 11221, and that's Memphis Addison. And when I look at what our kids don't have, and I, when I look at the problem of access and engagement, to me, that's the new civil rights issue. What Sassy got me to do was really think about that whole conundrum, access and engagement. And how do you give access and engagement to students who have never gotten it? And I can say to you right now that, you know, it's been difficult. It's been very difficult. I had a superintendent come to me and say, you know, why are you putting this focus on the arts? when your school is struggling right now. And we're still a struggle. I can tell you that my school has about 60% of our students read two to three years, three grades below. But do I think that offering a test prep curriculum will ever raise that um, proficiency level? Never. Kids have to want to be in school. And what makes a child come to school is not necessarily turning to page 22, reading questions three to four, and using, you know, using a visualization strategy so you can answer that question. That's not what's going to make them come to school. They're going to come to school because, you know, I have this talent in me, and there's someone in my building who recognizes that. And there's someone who lets me perform that. We are really dependent on teaching artists. Because this grant could not, we could not afford a teaching position. We lost our visual arts teacher this year due to budget cuts. And I want to say something about him. Through this partnership with Sassy, through the professional development given through this, um, through this grant, I saw him change. He began to be a better teacher of the arts through his interaction with teaching artists, through his um, professional development. I saw him become a better connoisseur of the arts. There were so many things Sassy's did, Sassy did for the mindset of the people in our school. Mm -hmm. And I think that's most important. You can't change into an art community or a strong art school unless the mindset of the building changes, and unless the culture of it changes. And it starts with the leader in the building. And it also starts with the teachers in the building. 